All right, let's get started, everybody. What's going on, guys? Otaku Gains here. Welcome back to another live Q and A. This is episode nineteen, where I um I completely forgot the speech. The series where I answer one hundred of your guys's anime questions live. This is episode 19, so after I finish this, I will have answered 1,900 of your guys' anime questions. Alright, 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 alright. <clears throat> and as always, guys, this is uh, for everybody watching the playback. Thank you very much. And as always, if you ever end up joining one of these, it is always first come first serve so the first 100 questions will be answered and if you want priority and asking a question the best way to do that is through super chats or memberships and we'll let people trickle in here and we'll get started in a minute mr bread what's good what's good <clears throat> Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. uh, monthla, what's good? Or monthla? I don't know how to say that. How's your day? My day's been going pretty well, pretty well, except for um, currently my daughter. I don't know if some of y'all can hear that, but she is currently uh, been put in her room in timeout because. She's throwing a temper tantrum due to the fact she can't have any candy at the moment. Fun times. But uh, other than that, been pretty good so far. Been pretty good. I am kind of hungry, though. How's everybody doing today? How's your guys' days going? Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Good, good. That's good, Mr. Bread. That's good. That's good. Seb FN, what's good? Glad you're doing good, Monthla. Or great, I mean. My bad. I am Muslim and anime is haram. Fair enough, I guess. That one guy, what's good? So who's got the first question for me? All right, question number one from Otaku Edits as as uh, what's good by the way. Uh, do you like uh, Tanjiro as a main character? I think he's a pretty good main character. You know, I feel honestly I feel like he's one of the better main characters compared to some others because he has at least a little more depth to him than just the typical friendship wins all. You know what I mean? So I like Tanjiro. He's a good character. Uh, question two. Any characters that dominate Saitama? That dominate Saitama? Um, Zeno from Dragon Ball Super. Um, I don't know. I don't really... I can't really... There's a lot... To be fair. There's a lot of characters that actually beat Saitama. But... The issue is with how Saitama is written, and no, it's not because Saitama can beat everything in one punch. That's that's not the reason. Uh, Anti Spiral is another one, but uh, yeah, no, the reason Saitama wins in pretty much any argument most of the time is because of the fact that Saitama has his power is essentially he has unlimited potential. Or, or not not unlimited potential, but more like his growth rate is like infinite, basically. So essentially, he may not be stronger initially, but as the fight goes on, he will become stronger than whoever he's fighting. That's essentially how he's written, as seen if you guys read the manga against Cosmic Garo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So if you if we were to go with the classic Saitama versus Goku, Goku innately is significantly significantly stronger. 
But at the same time, it's kind of like how it was against Broly, where Broly was initially weaker than Goku and Vegeta, even in base form. But they kept going through their transformations, and he kept getting stronger and stronger than each transformation. That's kind of how Saitama is, in a way. Uh, question three. Uh, darkness over Megumin? Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Uh, question four. Um, who do you think should have been the main character of Naruto? I mean, well, the show is called Naruto, so I would probably have to go with Naruto. Just saying. If, if I had to choose a different character, then I would probably either say Kakashi or Minato. Uh, question four, right? Question four. Uh, favorite anime opening? The original Pokemon theme song. You can't get better than the OG Pokemon theme song. I wanna be the very best. You know, you can't beat that, bro. Uh, question five. Uh, do you think that Naruto would exist without Dragon Ball? No. Even Kishimoto has stated that in uh, interviews and obviously, rest in peace, the, uh, the memorial for Toriyama. Uh, Kishimoto has stated that Naruto would not be a thing if it weren't for the influence of Dragon Ball. Uh, question six. Uh, your live streams are the best. Appreciate you, Otaku. Uh, question six. What do you think would happen if Naruto left with Sasuke? Uh, that's a tough question to answer because I would feel as though... Orochimaru would try his very best to try and draw out the QB as a weapon. He wouldn't necessarily... I don't think he would, like, even really care specifically about Naruto himself. He would more care about the uh, Ninetales. Because um, he wasn't part of the Akatsuki at that point. And so if he went with Orochimaru, more than likely... All Orochimaru would want to do was figure out a way to send Naruto back into the Leaf Village and release the Ninetales there, is what he would try and do. Uh, question, what, seven? Saddest Demon Slayer death? Probably Rengoku. Question eight, uh, do you think that the big three should be the big three, and which one do you think should be replaced? I think the big three fits, but if I had to replace one, it would probably be Bleach. I don't know what I would replace it with, but I would have to say if... I would say the Naruto and One Piece are more influential than Bleach is. With that being said, I think Bleach is still incredible and is definitely influential. But out of the three, I think it is the lower one out of the three. Um, question nine. Were Monkey D. Dragon's powers revealed? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, question ten. Yo, what's up, Marvelous? What's good, what's good? Who's got question ten for me? <laughs> Who's got question 10? All right, there we go. Uh, it was lagging a little bit. Uh, who's your favorite demon in Demon Slayer? Akaza. Uh, question 11. Do you think One Piece would exist without Dragon Ball? Once again, no. Again, also in many interviews, Oda has stated that, and in, again, his memorial for Toriyama, that one Piece would not exist without the influence of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball basically paved the way for shonen like that to exist. Or just a lot of anime in general to exist. Because back when Dragon Ball was still becoming a thing, it manga and anime were not like very big like as like an industry. 
Dragon Ball paved the way for that. Even more so Dragon Ball Z, but Dragon Ball Z wouldn't exist without Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, just Dragon Ball as a whole, was one of, if not one, of, if not the biggest thing to happen to anime and manga in general. Uh, question twelve: When do you think the one, one or when do you think One Piece will end? I still say probably within the next. 10 years. Oda keeps saying 5, but he's been saying 5 for the past 20 years. So, <laughs> I I personally think uh, it's going to be within the next 10 years. Because it can't go on forever as, well, as much as we want to make fun of it. But, at the end of the day, it can't go on forever. Because, um, obviously, Oda himself has a lifespan. Uh, forbid that he passes away anytime soon. I hope he lives a long life. Now my daughter is squeaking a chicken uh, through her door. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah. Really? Anyway. She got, a, she got a squeaky dollar store chicken from the dollar store and now she's Deciding it's funny to squeak it through the door. But, um... Yeah, I'd say within the next ten years. Uh, question 13. Uh, I feel like if Dragon Ball didn't exist, then I... Then I think Fist of the North Star or JoJo would have been the inspiration instead. Maybe. I mean, I would say they had an impact too. But at the same time... You can you can argue at the fact that Dragon Ball has a has had massively bigger influence on the anime industry than Fist of the North Star or JoJo. Both of them are significantly smaller than Dragon Ball is. Not to say that they're worse. I love JoJo. I haven't really dabbled much into Fist of the North Star. Not gonna lie, but JoJo is one of my favorite anime of all time. Or one of my favorite anime series. And still, with that being said, Dragon Ball had a much bigger influence. Even to this day, I still think, personally, JoJo in itself is underrated and not enough people know about it. But that's why Dragon Ball is so big, is because so many people do know about it. It's just had that significant of an impact. Uh question what 14 right uh who's your favorite manga artist that has the best art i mean toriyama my favorite manga artist is toriyama <laughs> rest in peace <clears throat> who's that question 15 question 15 although i do wish that uh i think my I think my stream is lagging a bit because the questions seem to come in relatively slow. Not because of you guys, but because, um, like, there'll be nothing and then all of a sudden, like, seven questions come in at once. So I think my Wi-Fi is lagging a little bit. Let's see who's got question 15. Let's see, there it did it again. Uh, question 15. Best anime you've watched? Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball is by far my favorite anime. Um, but I keep repeating that. So if I, if I have to choose a second, then I would say Attack on Titan. Uh, Dragon Ball number one, Attack on Titan number two. Uh, question 16. Uh, I would probably say my favorite artist is uh, Murata or Murata. Uh, who's the author of Berserk? That's fair. That's fair. Also, rest in peace. Why do the greatest ones pass away? Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Murata and Toriyama. Two of the goats. Um, question, what, 17, right? Most controversial anime that you enjoy. Mmm... I don't say I don't think that I have 
I really like that many controversial anime. I think it would be controversial as far as, like, people's top fives go. I personally put, um... I personally put Food Wars in my top five. I just really like Food Wars. I don't think that's necessarily controversial to say that Food Wars is good, but I think it's controversial to put it in, like... Most people wouldn't put it in their top five, but I just am a massive foodie. I love trying new food, going to new restaurants, and also I also like to cook, so that's partially why I put Food Wars in my top five. So I would probably say that. Uh, question 18. What anime made you think, what the flap is this, greatest surprise in anime? So like a, like a, like a plot twist? Probably Attack on Titan. I would say probably Attack on Titan. Unless you're saying more of what the flap is this, as in just straight up confused in general, then I would have to probably say King's Game. Osama Game or King's Game. King's Game, I've always stated this, is one of those anime that is so bad that it's good. The plot makes literally zero sense. The logic of it makes zero sense. But it is so bad that it is good and that it is funny. Uh, question 20. Uh, worst, an worst anime you've watched for me, it's... Uh, what's that say? I can't even read. There's an emoji on my screen, so I can't even read that. Uh, uh, where, where is Elkin Club? I've never heard of Elkin Club, but the worst anime personally for me that I don't like is Fairy Tale. I know that's a contra that one is a controversial statement uh, that I don't enjoy, but and it doesn't do anything necessarily bad. I just find it boring personally. To me, it's just like a strictly worse One Piece. <laughs> Or uh, a strictly worse, like, as bold as this to say, Black Clover. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I know a lot of people love it. I just found it boring. I watched like 80-something episodes of it, and I was just really bored. I know. I see why people enjoy it. I just don't enjoy it, personally. Uh, question 21. Is Food Wars like Top Chef? Kind of. Honestly, yeah, kind of. It's like if you fused Top Chef with high school and with, uh, with for lack of a better term, uh, H anime. If you fuse Top Chef with H anime and high school, that it that, that's essentially what Food Wars is. Uh, question twenty two. What's your top ten anime? Okay. This is in no particular order besides number one and number two. Number one is Dragon Ball. Number two is Attack on Titan. As far as the rest of the top ten, what do we got? I've got Food Wars in there. Death Note's in there. Baki the Grappler is in there. Um, Naruto's in there. One Piece is in there. Um... Solo leveling's in there. Hmm. JoJo. And... Probably Jujutsu Kaisen. That's, that's off the top of my head currently. I would say that's my top ten. In, in, again, in no particular order other than... Dragon Ball and Attack on Titan. Um, question 23. What anime do you believe would be better without etchy tropes? Would be better without etchy tropes. Um, that's hard to say because I feel like a lot of times the etchy tropes don't truly hinder many anime. Maybe 
I mean, it's not very prevalent, but I guess maybe My Hero Academia, probably. Although Miss Midnight be hitting, but um, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really think that she tropes really. With that being said, I think the trope of like the the pervy like side character. I don't like that trope. The ones that like are all constantly trying to peep or trying to grope and whatnot. I don't like those tropes. So a lot of pretty much every anime would benefit from not having that. But other than that, yeah. Um question twenty four, right? Uh, question 24, what anime would you recommend for intermediate watchers? I'm looking for new content. Okay, this is a good one. So I always get the beginner question one, but intermediate, okay. So I'm going to assume you've seen the standard things like Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, all the standard stuff. So I would recommend... Things like Baki, like Jojo, if you haven't seen those. Uh, I'm assuming you've seen Death Note. Uh, I would recommend maybe Code Geass, um, Classroom of the Elite. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let me think here. Um, what's that one I'm trying to think of? Future Diary. Um, see, I've seen, like, over 300 anime, so it's kind of hard for me to remember a bunch of them. Hold on. I'm literally about to pull up my anime list right now, so I can, <laughs> so I can actually remember certain ones. Um, let me see here. Let me see, uh, some more, like, intermediate anime that not a lot, Steins Gate's a good one, um, No Game, No Life, uh, da -da 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 -da. Re Zero, but there's a high chance you've probably seen Re Zero, uh, Angel Beats is a great one, um, The Promised Neverland, Season 1 only, only Season 1, um, Parasite, Cowboy Bebop, Evangelion, uh, and yeah, that, that's a pretty good list, I'd say. Um, question 25, um... Opinions on Blue Lock. I personally haven't seen Blue Lock, unfortunately. I've seen clips of it, and I've from the clips I've seen, I know I would like it. I just, unfortunately, I haven't gotten to reading it or watching it yet. At some point, I probably will. Like when the if if and or when the new season of Blue Lock comes out, I probably will. Um, question twenty six. Best anime in your opinion? Uh, again, Dragon Ball Z. Question twenty seven. Name an anime that has time travel that went wrong, basically making matters worse. Uh, there's a lot. Steins Gate, uh, Future Diary. Um, those are the biggest two off the top of my head that have time travel. Um, I can't really think of many that have time travel. I mean, obviously Dragon Ball has time travel, but didn't necessarily make matters worse worse to i mean i guess it kind of did both dragon ball z and dragon ball super had time travel um but i'd say the biggest two off the top of my head would be steins gate or um uh future diary um question what 27 uh best seinen series Jojo's a seinen, isn't it? I would say Jojo, probably. Or is ba Baki's not a seinen, right? I don't, th I don't think Baki's a seinen. 
Let me look up the category again. I'm gonna look up the seinen category. If I can. How do I do that? Um, oh wait, here we go. If my internet would like to load, anyway. Um, but off the top of my head, if I can remember correctly, uh, yeah, if I can remember correctly, I would say that, um, JoJo is probably the best Satan. One Punch, apparently One Punch Man counts as Sanin. So, oh, I mean, I still like uh, JoJo more than One Punch Man. A lot of these that my anime list is claiming is Sanin, I feel like aren't actually Sanin. Like, Kaguya-sama loves war. But, I guess, I would say, again, JoJo. Um... Appreciate you, Wide Wreck. Have a good day, man. Uh, question, what, 28, right? Question 28. What anime movie slash films is in your top three? So I don't typically watch a lot of anime movies, so I guess off the top of my head, number one, Pokemon, the first movie. Number two, Dragon Ball Z Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. And number three, mm, number three, either, hmm, mm -mm -mm -mm. either the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie or Mugen Train. One of those uh, two is my number three. But again, keep in mind that this is me not watching a lot of anime movies. I typically steer away from anime movies just because I'm too lazy to go to the theater. <laughs> um, question... And I again, I prefer just watching series. Uh, question, what, 28, right? Question 28, smash or pass Goku? <laughs> smash. Um, question 29, uh, Genoa, what's a good fan, by the way? Uh, which anime have the best fights? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z has the best fights. Uh, question 30, what Dragon Ball Z movie is your fave? Uh, I kind of inadvertently answered that, but uh, the Dragon Ball Z Broly movie, the legendary Super Saiyan. Adi loves anime. What's good, Fenton? What's good? What's good? Uh, question 31, what anime live action uh, do you not mind that are actually okay slash good adaptation? Um, the One Piece live action. Uh, the One Piece live action is good. Um, I personally don't think the, the Death Note live actions are bad, and with that being said, I'm talking about the original Japanese live actions, not the Netflix one. Definitely not the Netflix one. The, the Japanese original live actions, those aren't bad. Um... Other than that, I try to steer clear of live actions, so those are basically it. Those two. That's it. Uh, question 32. What is the best anime to watch that has over 100 episodes? Um, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, um, well, mainly those four. There aren't that many... That get past that, honestly. Most anime don't get past 100 episodes. Those are the the main four, I would say. I'm trying to think of what else has over 100 episodes. Um, that's that's basically it. Off the, I mean, I th I think JoJo. If you count all of the series combined, every single JoJo series combined, I think counts as over 100 episodes. So JoJo. 
Um, yeah. Uh, question. I've reached Dress Rosa. Good luck. I will say that right now. Good luck. Dress Rosa is the long is is one of the longest uh, arcs in One Piece. So good luck on that. Who's got a question? What thirty three? Thirty three, right? Now I'm actually kind of curious. While I'm waiting for question thirty three, I want to see if I can look up like the longest series. Um, I don't think there's a way to search that on. Is there a way to search that on my anime list? Uh, amount of episodes? Probably not. I don't think so. I don't think I can search the amount of episodes on my anime list. Oh well. Uh, question 33. Uh, MHA versus AOT. Which is better? M or, uh, AOT. By far. Not even, not even close. AOT is by far better than My Hero. Bold take, but I personally don't think... I think uh, MHA is a bit overrated, but then again, I will admit that I'm a couple, se I'm a season or two behind. I will say that the last season I watched was like season three or season four. I can't remember. But I, with that being said, I do know what is happening in M MHA. I know all about Vigilante, Deku, and all of that. I do know what is happening to a certain degree. But even then, AOT is by far leaps and bounds better. Uh, question 34. Who is the most underrated anime character in One Piece? Underrated? Mm. Underrated. In terms of what? That's, that's, that's the question. In terms of what? Um... I feel like Crocodile is somewhat underrated. Just because I feel like he got beaten early, early on. But in reality, obviously, as you can tell by his bounty now, Crocodile is significantly stronger than what people originally anticipated. I also think that, um... What's his name? Uh... Obviously, man's on the moon now. But, uh, Anel. Anel is also severely underrated. Just because he didn't have an official bounty. Because I feel like if it wasn't Luffy that he fought against, Enel would uh, would definitely been a, a much bigger threat. If it wasn't for the fact that Luffy was rubber, I don't think they would have won. Um, or at least at the time, they wouldn't have won. Uh, question, what, 35? Question 35. What's your opinion on the Bakemonogatari series? Uh, nothing, because I actually haven't seen any of the Bakemonogatari series. I do know it is long. I do know that it is good. I just haven't seen any of it, unfortunately. The only thing I know is that there's a little blonde-haired chick that turns into, uh... An M-I-L-F. <laughs> That's all I know. A, a little tiny lolly blonde haired chick turns into Ada Ada. That's all I know about the series. Um, question 36. Uh, do you know an anime called Kamisama Kiss? I've heard of it, never seen it. I have heard of it, but that's all I know about it. Uh, question 37. What is Ash's mom's name? I think that's re that that was revealed, right? It's now I'm drawing a blank on it though. I'm completely forgetting what it is. Um what is now it's going to bug me. Now now you now you've gone and uh drawn an itch. I I've definitely I definitely know it, but I'm forgetting her name now. Uh Ash's mom. Oh. Ash's mom's name. Because I... Professor Oak, definitely... Delia, that's what it is. I was gonna say, I'm pretty positive Professor Oak has definitely said it, or something like that. But it's Delia. Um... Question... What? 37? My daughter's... My daughter is squeaking 
her toy chicken again. But 37, right? Uh, what clan is Jiraiya from? Couldn't tell you. I don't think that was ever revealed. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was ever revealed. Question 30. People, people speculate that he has some sort of relation to the second Hokage and or some sort of relation to Kakashi. Because they all have white hair. But I don't know. Uh, I will be right back, guys. My daughter is calling for me, so I will be right back. Think of more, drop more questions while I'm gone. All right, I'm I'm back. Who's got question thirty eight? Question thirty eight. Uh, da, 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 da. what anime has been forgotten and did not deserve it? Forgotten and did not deserve, like as in, there's a lot of anime that I feel like have been forgotten and did not deserve it. As far as, like the newer generation doesn't really remember them. Like for example, Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, Inuyasha, uh, what else do we got that, uh, was big back in my childhood? Uh, do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on, I'm gonna bring up my anime list again. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let me see here. Where did that just go? There we go. Um, what else was forgotten? I feel like Death Note's not necessarily forgotten. Um, what else? Steins Gate's pretty forgotten, I feel like. Um... No Game, No Life is still kicking, but that's only because it's become a meme at this point that it's never getting Season 2. Um, Code Geass. Code Geass definitely deserves more recognition. Uh, Toradora's pretty good. Uh, Noragami. Angel Beats. Future Diary. Um, what else has been kind of forgotten about? Cowboy Beep. Well, I feel like Cowboy Bebop's still kind of prevalent. I feel like it hasn't necessarily fully been forgotten. Um, what else? What else is there? Um, another. Uh, Psycho Pass. Psycho Pass is a great one. Um... What else has been forgotten? High School of the Dead. Mm, Fate. Like Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night. Unlimited Blade Works. Um, Kakegurui is pretty good. Although I don't... Mm, that's kind of newer though. Um, Durarara. 
Durarara is phenomenal. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might put Durarara in my top 10 and kick. Uh, I probably will, actually, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, well, no, I'd probably put Durarara at like 11. I think Jujutsu Kaisen slightly squeaks it out at that point. But yeah, that's a, that's a bunch of them that have been forgotten that don't deserve to be forgotten. Um, question 39. What is the best duo in anime? Goku and Vegeta. Question 40. Uh, who is your favorite character in JoJo? Either Dio or Jotaro. Probably... Mm, yeah, it's it's a tie between Dio and Jotaro. Uh, question 41. Who in DBZ World is solely there for comic relief, not for combat or plot? Solely for comic relief? Because in, initially popping into my head, I would have said uh, Yajirobe. But Yajirobe was a somewhat significant in the original Dragon Ball. And he had played a major impact in Dragon Ball Z, at least during the Saiyan Saga. Solely for comic relief. Um, There's Marin. But that was that was filler. But we all know who we're talking about here. We're not talking about Krillin's daughter. Um, but yeah, there's Marin. There is that one random dude that went to Gohan's high school. Plus that blonde chick from Gohan's high school. They're kind of comic relief. Um, the turtle, I guess. Um, I don't know. Mr. Popo, kind of, he, I mean, but he also played. He also plays significance to a certain degree. He's the reason they got to go to Namek. So, yeah, there aren't many characters that aren't used for plot to some degree, but there are a few. Uh, question: What forty one? Right. Question forty one. Name an anime that is as old as you are, or close enough. Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, um, Inuyasha. Some of some of these might be old because like Dragon Ball is older than I am. Dragon Ball, I think Dragon Ball Z is older than I am. I don't remember when Dragon Ball Z specifically came out. Some of those that I named are older than I am. Although I do know Naruto came out the year I was born, I believe. Or at least the manga came out the year I was born. And I don't remember if the one what year the One Piece anime came out. Um, question 42. What's the first anime you watched this year? This year? I don't know if I've watched any anime this year, honestly. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've watched it. I've been reading manga, but I haven't watched anything. The first manga that I've read this year that I don't count as, like, that I was continuously watching. Or continuously reading, because I've been continuously reading Jujutsu Kaisen, Boruto, One Piece, Baki... One Punch Man, Dragon Ball Super, but the first, like, just straight up, I just started this year, Classroom of the Elite. Um, question 43, is Dragon Ball Z considered an isekai? If so, why? Yes. Yes, Dragon Ball Z is an isekai. Most people don't realize that. Because the term isekai in itself means coming from another world. And theoretically speaking, the main character of Dragon Ball, Goku, came from another world. So, with that being said, Dragon Ball Z is indeed an isekai. Uh, question 44. Is JJK overrated? No. I personally don't think so. I think Dragon... Or, not Dragon Ball. I think Jujutsu Kaisen is honestly perfectly rated. Or at least to a certain degree. I, with that being said... 
there was a poll stating that JJK is the most popular anime in the world. And maybe it is currently the most popular anime in the world. It's not the most popular anime ever. But, um... And I still, to this, to a certain degree, am skeptical of it being the most popular anime, even currently. I still think that might be One Piece. But, uh... If, if the internet says so. But, uh... I definitely think JJK is pretty well rated. I definitely think it's the best anime in most in in recent times as far as like a newer gen anime. I don't think it's the greatest anime ever. I don't think and obviously it's in my top 10, but out of everything that I named, I would probably place it at number 10. So my daughter is singing now. Um, question, what, 45, right? Uh, who's the weakest anime character in Naruto? The weakest? I don't know. It's probably some random filler character. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know. Taz, the, not even Tazuna, the kid, the kid that was with Tazuna, right? Or wait. Because Tazuna's the guy that built the bridge, right? His grandson. I guess that's the weakest character. I don't I don't know. Um, DBZ the goat. What's good, fam? Uh, question, what, 46? Anime with Isekai or Reincarnation? Which interests you more between the two? Um, as far as... So I'm confused as as far as the question. Anime with Isekai or Reincarnation, which... So, because obviously I, I think what you're saying is that there's two variations of Isekai. Either coming to a new world or being reborn in a new world. Which one interests me more? I would say... I mean, I don't know. I've never really thought about it. To me, they're basically the same thing. So, I can't really answer that. Unless you're asking me which interests me more, regular anime or isekai, in that regard. Theoretically, I would have to say isekai, just because Dragon Ball Z is my favorite. And technically, it's an isekai, so... Um, question 47. Who's your favorite JoJo's Bizarre Adventure character? Again, it's either Dio or Jotaro. Uh, question forty eight. What anime made you, or what anime made anime mainstream? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is the thing that made anime mainstream. But your username says that you already knew that. Uh, peace out, Audi. Appreciate you. Uh, question forty nine. Favorite genre. So. Probably shonen. Honestly, it's basic, but probably shonen. Because the majority of my favorite anime are shonen. Dragon Ball. The original Dragon Ball was technically a shonen. Dragon Ball Z. Although, it, it's, it's hard to Because technically, Dragon Ball Z isn't a shonen, I don't think. Technically, it's seinen, right? Because a shonen, or, well, no, oh wait, no, it's more about who it appeals to. So I guess, yeah, Dragon Ball Z is shonen. In my head, I got it confused, and for some reason, I thought it meant for uh, based on the main character's age. But yeah, no, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, One Piece, Dr Jujutsu Kaisen, Food Wars, all of these are like my favorite anime. So I would definitely say shonen's my favorite anime, or favorite genre. Uh, question, what, 50? Question 50, most OP JoJo character? Well, that would probably have to be, um, Goal Experience Requiem, right? So, uh, Giorno. Giorno Giovanna. With Goal Experience Requiem. Um, da -da 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 -da. question 51. Uh, which manga's art style do you like the most? Uh, Dragon Ball Z. 
Question 52, uh, do you watch mecha anime? If so, which one? If not, why not? I mean, I don't have a particular preference for mecha. If it's good, it's good. I haven't seen that many. I used to watch Gundam as a kid, but I don't remember really anything from it. Obviously, Evangelion's pretty decent. Um, and I think the most, uh, Code Geass is a... I don't know if that necessarily fully counts as a mecha anime, but it has mechs in it. Code Geass is technically a mecha anime to a certain degree. And I think Code Geass is phenomenal. Um, off the top of my head, the most recent mecha that I watched was SSSS Gridman. That was pretty decent, too. Not, like, phenomenal, but it was all right. Um, question, what, 53, right? What's your favorite anime, Dragon Ball Z? Uh, question 54, when will Zoro use, uh, his real power? I mean, he does use his real power. I'm not entirely sure what you're referencing. The power, his, his real power of GPS, maybe? I don't know. Uh, question 54. Is Nico Robin the baddest in all of anime? No. Rios Grimmery is the baddest in all of anime. I hate to break it to you, but in my personal opinion, Nico Robin's not even the baddest in One Piece. That would be uh, Nami. Although I would probably give Robin... I'd probably give Robin number two. I like her more than Boa, personally. But, yeah. <laughs> Who's, what is it? Question 55? 54? Question 54, I guess. Who's got question 54? Uh, which anime character uh, dev deserves to go to prison? Um, whoever, whoever made Boku know, you know what I'm talking about. It's Frozy... Fro, fro, what, I don't know how to pronounce that. Frozy... Frozy T Z Y, <laughs> appreciate the love, fam. Appreciate the love, my guy. Uh, what did Mitsuri say to Tanjiro when he, she whispered to him? Wasn't didn't she whisper to him? I can't remember. Did they ever announce that that she's gonna she she whispered that she's gonna show up to his room later? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she said. But we all love Mitsuri anyway. Now I'm curious. Was that ever stated? I'm gonna. Lit I'm literally gonna Google it. What did Mitsuri say to Tanjiro? Uh, whispering that there was a secret weapon in the village that was meant to make him. Oh, that's right. Although let's be honest. Uh, she is the secret weapon. She has two secret weapons. Um, anyway, uh, what was that? Question 54, right? So question 55, uh, what is your favorite quote out of all of anime? Mm hmm. Hmm. Off the top of my head, it's Escanor telling everybody who decided that just because Escanor has the best one-liners in all of anime. Escanor's the that that dude. Escanor's that boss. Um question what? Question 56. Um any lesser known anime that you binge 12 episodes in a day for fun? I used to binge every single uh, anime that I watched uh, back in the day, but lesser known. Mm, let me see. Let me look. Because Baki, Baki's some. It's being more known now, but even then, I still think Baki is severely underrated. Um. Let me see here. Lesser known anime that are really good. Um, 
Because I feel like most really good anime are also pretty well known. Um... Hmm... Lesser known. Kaguya-sama Love is War is pretty popular, so I wouldn't say that's lesser known. Hajime no Ippo is, pre is somewhat lesser known. I would say Hajime no Ippo is phenomenal. Cowboy Bebop was known back in the day, but I feel like most new-gen anime watchers don't really know much about Cowboy Bebop. Um, what else is really good that's lesser known? Mmm... Code Geass, to a certain degree, is kind of lesser known nowadays. Uh, what else is lesser known? Um, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I feel like I feel like that's kind of lesser known, honestly. Cyberpunk Edge Runners is phenomenal. It's so lesser known that I even kind of forgot about it. But Cyberpunk and Dredgers is phenomenal. I'd probably put it in, like, my top 20 anime. So long as I kind of remember it. Um, yeah. That's that's off the top of my head, though. Uh, question... Uh, I love your memes. Appreciate you again. It's Frozy. You are the go and the the only person so far to super chat. So you are you are the MVP of this stream so far. Um, question what fifty six right? Uh, what is your least favorite thing about anime? Least favorite thing? Uh, filler, I guess. Filler probably is my least favorite thing. But filler is also kind of necessary to a certain degree. <laughs> um, although I do like the fact that a lot of anime are taking the more seasonal approach nowadays. Because as much as I do love long-running anime that just continuously go, at the same time, seasonal anime is better because then there's less filler. Um... Question 57. Uh, have you seen High Rise Invasion? I have not. I don't know what that is, unfortunately. Uh, question 58. Started Baki last night, and my Baki uh, is insane. Good lad, good lad. Now, with that being said, are you starting it on Netflix? Or are you starting the original? Because netflix has started all of the newer seasons of baki but there are two seasons of baki prior to all the new baki content that's been coming out there are two seasons of baki that came out back in like the 90s uh and that's actually where i first watched baki baki's amazing um question Although I will say it's far better animated now in the newer seasons than it was obviously in the 90s. But the 90s one is still where you definitely should start because that's where I fell in love with uh, Baki. Ba the original, I, I think it's literally just titled Baki the Grappler. Uh, so there's two seasons. And even out of the new content, the second season is probably my favorite out of Baki because it's just like a massive tournament. And so I think it's phenomenal. Uh, question, what, 58? Which anime character do you relate to the most? Relate to the most? Um, maybe it's because I'm personally, I'm currently reading it. So maybe it's just kind of a bias just because of recent by bi recency bias. But, uh. Ayano Koji from uh, Classroom of the Elite. Just because, although I'm not nearly as smart as Ayano Koji, but I'm much more of like the kind of person that doesn't really want to stand out a lot. I, I feel like, I, and I just kind of like to observe situations calmly, you know? Although, again, I'm definitely not as smart as he is. Uh... 
I, I feel like actually I'm like a mixture. If you if you've watched Classroom of the Elite, I'm a mixture between Ayano Koji and Hirata. Uh, question. What is it? Question fifty nine, right? Question fifty nine. Uh, are you caught up in One Piece? Yes, I'm caught up with the manga of One Piece. And you started the 90s one? Good, DBZ Goat. Yes, Baki is phenomenal. I would watch all of the 90s one, the first two seasons, or the first series, obviously, and then continue on with the the Netflix ones. Um, question... I completely forgot where I'm at. Question, what, 59, I think? Question 59... Uh, I have ran out of questions after this. What is your opinion on solo leveling? Uh, phenomenal. Solo leveling is in my top 10 anime slash manhwa of all time. I love, uh, uh, solo leveling. Also, fun fact, just because of the fact that you put a Korean type anime, I am actually part Korean. So, uh, but that has nothing to do with the fact that I love solo leveling. But it is kind of cool that uh, it is Korean. Because uh, I have read the entirety of uh, the solo leveling manhwa like a couple years ago. Uh, question 60. What is your uh, favorite part of J uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Stardust Crusaders. Stardust Crusaders is my favorite part. Question 61. Coolest slash best JoJo stand? My favorite is probably the world. The world. So yeah, the world's probably my favorite. Question sixty-two: What is your favorite color? Black. <laughs> very very uh, edgy, I know, but black's my favorite color. <clears throat> Question sixty-three: Who's your favorite JoJo villain? Dio. Dio. Dio is definitely by far my favorite. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That was what? Question 63, right? Question 64. Who's got question 64? <clears throat> when uh, JoJo's Part 7 coming out? Who knows? I, I can't wait for JoJo Part 7 to come out. That'd be great. But uh, I couldn't tell you when that's going to happen. Uh, question 15, er, no, question 65, right? Question 65, this was fun, but it's midnight here, uh, see you and thanks for the memes. Appreciate you, Monroe, appreciate you, fam. Have a good night. Who's got question 65? Uh, yeah, question 65. <clears throat> Running out of coffee here. Best anime family. Best anime family. Mm. Mm. Off the top of my head, I'll probably give it to Vegeta, Balma, and Trunks. Uh, just because of the simple fact that I love the dynamic between Balma and Vegeta. So, gonna have to give it to them. The, although, it's, it's not the Briefs family, is it? No one knows Vegeta's last name. So, the Vegeta family. Uh, question 66. When the Chainsaw Man movie coming out? Not a clue. No idea. Uh, question 67. Who's your favorite character in JJK? Love your vids, by the way. Appreciate you, MHX. Uh, Gojo. I know it's very basic, but Gojo is my favorite uh, JJK character. Um, question 67. Who's your favorite character from Code Geass? Ooh. Mm. Probably Lelouch. I'd probably say Lelouch is my favorite. I need to rewatch that, honestly, also. It's literally been, like, uh, I think... 
probably close to 15 years since I watched Code Geass. So I definitely need to rewatch it. Um, question, what, 68? Which is worse, the rumbling or the eclipse from Berserk? Uh, couldn't tell you because I don't know much about the eclipse from Berserk. I know it was a very uh, tragic event. But uh, I also have not read or watched Berserk. Someday I will. Someday I'm going to. But I unfortunately haven't read or watched it yet. So with that being said, currently I'm going to have to go with the rumbling. But I honestly have no idea. Uh, question 69. Uh, your favorite's Gojo too. Fair. Fair. Great minds think alike. Uh, question 69. Uh... Why do all the ladies simp for Gojo? Because he's got pretty eyes, that's why. And because, nah, I'd win, that's why. Although, I don't know why you would say the ladies simp for Gojo, because let's be honest, the ladies actually simp for Nanami. I definitely think there's more Nanami simps than there is Gojo. Uh... Yeah, 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 DBZ, Go, we know. You've told me this many times that you hope Gojo dies. Uh, question 70, who's the best scythe user? Best scythe user? Like, as from um, Soul Eater? The best scythe user from Soul Eater, I'm assuming is what you're saying. Um... The best I can't answer, my favorite would be Death the Kid. Because my man's got the gats. My man's got the... He's got... He's strapped up. He's double strapped up. Even better. Um, Question... What? 71? Which anime has the best sound effects? Dragon Ball Z. Let's be honest. Dragon Ball Z sound effects are so legendary. Other anime steal the sound effects. Like, drag like Yu Yu Hakusho has used the sound effects, although I don't know what, which one came first. But I know that Yu Yu Hakusho definitely uses Dragon Ball sound effects. Naruto has used Dragon Ball sound effects. One Piece uses Dragon Ball sound effects, even to this current day. Uh, I'm pretty sure JJK has used Dragon Ball sound effects. Um... Question 72. Which anime has the best OST? Um, the best OST. Like, consistently the best OST? Either, I would say, Dragon Ball, again, I know I'm super biased, or Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan's sound uh, OSTs are really good. Uh, honestly, I'd probably say Attack on Titan. Uh, sorry, I gotta go. It was fun. Appreciate you, MHX. Have a good night, fam. Or day, whichever time it is there. Uh, question 74. Name one anime that a popular girl falls for an unpopular boy. Very simply, uh, there's, I mean, there's a lot, but off the top of my head, my dress-up darling. Uh, question 75, what's your favorite ship in anime? Again, probably Vegeta and Balma. Probably Vegeta and Balma. Another favorite of mine is Soma, and I'm completely forgetting her name. The God Tongue Girl from uh, from Food Wars. I'm completely forgetting her name. But uh, she, that's also a favorite ship of mine. Shinobu and Giyu, another favorite ship. Um, question 76. Which is your favorite Bonkai? Ooh. Favorite Bonkai. Um, probably Zenbon Sakura Kageyoshi. 
probably, yeah, it's probably Zembo and Sakura Kageyoshi. With that being said, my favorite Shikai is Shurum Dead. Shinso. Ikoros. Shinso. <clears throat> question, what, 77? Who's got question 77? Oh, wait, what does that leave us with? 23 more questions to go, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Am I forgetting any Bonkai now that I'm thinking about it? Nah, no, yeah, I'd still say... Uh... Eh, Rujin Jack is also pretty boss. Uh... It is a pretty boss Shikai. Pretty boss Bonkai, too, Zanka Motachi. Um... Yeah, I'd say it's either Zembo and Sakura, but if we're if we're talking about like saying that that's just purely off of saying, the coolest as far as like actual like abilities, I'd probably say it's either Zanka no Tachi or um or uh, I don't even remember the name of it, but the one that um. That's... Uh, now I'm forgetting his name. Mm, the leader of the Visards. I'm, why am I forgetting his name? Uh, Shinji. I think it's Shinji, right? His Bankai. The one where it reverses literally everything. That's just a headache, bro. I, I love the fact that it's just a massive headache. <laughs> uh... Question, what, 78, right? I don't remember the name of the Bankai, though. But I really like his Bankai. Shinji's Bankai. Uh, question 78, which anime has the best power system? Mm. I want to give it to JJK, even though it's really complicated. Probably, like, just off of pure complexity, I like JJKs. Because there's, like, actual logic involved. It's not just based off, oh, this one is stronger than this one. I mean, it kind of is to a certain degree. But there's, like, science based behind it, so it's kind of makes it more interesting. Um... Question 79. Uh, name one anime character we want dead right now. Uh, again, I don't think he died, so I'm going to have to go with Shao Tucker from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, question 80. Favorite anime game? Mm, that's tough. It's a tie between Pokemon Stadium 2, Pokemon Stadium 1, and Dragon Ball Fighters. It's a three-way tie between those three. Question 81. Black Clover or Fire Force? Ooh. Uh, pro ah, that's tough. Probably Black Clover. I'll probably have to give it to Black Clover. Uh, question 82. Who's the biggest yapper in anime? The biggest yapper? Um, hmm. Yajirobe. <laughs> uh, off the top of my head. Oh, actually, no. Hercule. Mr. Satan, Hercule. Uh, question 83, right? 83. Future Gohan or present Gohan? Present Gohan, because of because of Beast Gohan. His Beast transformation is pretty baller, not gonna lie. I still want to know what they're specifically going to explain it as. Because, again, we literally just explained it as a singular transformation all on its own because apparently it has nothing to do with a super saiyan power it literally has nothing to do with super saiyan which makes kind of zero sense because it's very very similar in resemblance to super saiyan 2 
but with white hair, and it's longer hair than Super Saiyan 2, but apparently has nothing to do with any sort of Super Saiyan whatsoever. So I don't really know what exactly it is. Um, question 84. Best anime signature move in anime except Kamehameha. As far as popularity, probably Shadow Clone Jutsu off the top of my head. Um... Although Spirit Bomb's pretty pretty popular in relevance too. I'll give it to Spirit Bomb probably. Because we're talking about a signature move, like a technique. So Spirit Bomb. Or Ultra Instinct. Because technically Ultra Instinct's a technique, not a transformation. Um, question 85. What's your favorite thing about uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 7? I've never really thought about it, honestly. Except, I, I don't even know much about Part 7 now that I'm thinking about it. Because Jolene, Jolene's not Part 7, right? Jolene's Part 6. So I don't know anything about Part 7 now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so unfortunately I can't answer that. Question 86. Uh, best redemption arc? Vegeta. Or, off the top of my head, but that's not really a redemption arc. Oh, no. That's not true, actually. Majin Vegeta was kind of a redem uh, redemption arc in a way. So I would say Vegeta. Uh, question 87. Best Dragon Ball... Best Dragon Ball arc? Mm, probably Namek, I would say. Probably Namek. Although, if we're call, counting the entirety of Dragon Ball, I personally really like the Tournament of Power. So, it's either Namek or the Tournament of Power. For obvious reasons, Namek being the fact that they're Super Saiyan and then uh, Tournament of Power because all trends sing. Uh, question 88. Best Black Clover arc? Mm. Mm. The elf arc is pretty baller, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to have to give it to the, the elf arc. I don't know if it's actually called that, but that's what I'm calling it. Uh, question 89, right? Question 89. Best bleach arc. Mm. The Arankar arc is probably my favorite. The Arankar arc. Oh, well, mm, actually, no. No, I might actually have to give it to the um, Soul Society arc. Because we still had the looming threat of not really knowing much about the captains and whatnot. It was, it was, I, I'd probably think my favorite's probably the Soul Society arc. Because I actually didn't really care for Bleach that much until the Soul Society arc. Once the Soul Society arc hit, that's when it sold me. Uh, question 90. Most satisfying revenge in anime? Mm. Either Sasuke killing Donzo. Because that's what comes off the top of my head. Um, probably Sasuke killing Donzo. 
that's probably what I would have to say in my in my opinion yeah probably in my opinion yeah who's got question 91 we got mm, what nine more questions to go which is good because I'm almost out of coffee and I have to use the bathroom and it's getting late who's got question 91 Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, who's your favorite swordsman? Um, probably Zoro. Zoro is probably my favorite. I'd have to say. Uh, question ninety-two. What's your favorite top or what's your top five Black Clover characters? Yami's number one. Yami's number one. Um, even though I know certain things from the manga, I would probably say Julius is number two. Um, yeah, number two is probably Julius. Number three... Fuguelli, I, I can't ever say his name right, but Fuguelion or whatever, uh, Fire Dude, Fire Captain, probably number three, um, number four, number four is probably the Light Elf guy, I can't remember his name, uh, and number five, Hmm, probably Asta. Asta's probably number five off the top of my head. So yeah, I'd say that's probably my top five. I know, it sounds I'm kind of like I'm kind of biased because I chose like five of the strongest, <laughs> like the five strongest characters. But it's what it is. Uh, who's got, what was it, question 96? Or no, 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 what am I saying? That's question 90. Oh, what am I at? 90. That was 92, 93. So question 94, right? Question 94. Who's got question 94? Or no, this is question 93. Who's got question 93? What is your top five Bleach characters? All right, so number one is Gin Ichimaru. Number two, Byakuya. Number three, Ukiyora. Number four, Aizen. Actually, I'd say Gin Ichimaru's number one. Aizen's number two. Byakuya, number three. Ukiyora, number four. Kenpachi, number five. Yeah. That, that would be my top five for Bleach. Who's got question 94? I feel like it's a lot of uh, top fives. All out of coffee. Sad days. Oh, well. But yeah, question number 94, right? Yeah. Who's got question 94? <clears throat> mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, I'm tired. <sighs> I forgot about Stark. I like Stark too. But no, nah, I think that's still my my, my top five. Yeah. <sighs> Question ninety four. Who's got it? Could be as simple as your favorite food. I don't even care. I'm tired. I, I want to hurry up. No offense to you guys. I've just been up for quite a... I got up at like 5.30 this morning. Question 94. But I will sit here all day until I get my last six questions. 
Uh, question 94. Which anime character has the most satisfying voice? Anybody voiced by Kenjiro Suda, a.k.a. people like Nanami. The voice actor for Nanami, by the way. That is the best voice actor. Hands down. So Kenjiro Suda is the most satisfying voice. Uh, question 95. Who's got question 95? <laughs> sub or dub? Sub. Easy. Sub. Depending on what it is, though. Like, Dragon Ball Z is dub. Yu Yu Hakusho could go either way. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dub. Or, or, why did I say sub? Dragon Ball Z is dub. Yu Yu Hakusho could go either way, and Yu-Gi-Oh! dub. Bleach could go either way, Naruto could go either way. One Piece is definitely sub. But for the most part, overall sub. Um, question 96. Funniest JoJo Bizarre Adventure moment? Any moment where... Uh, Joseph is saying any sort of crazy thing like, Oh my god! Holy shit! You know. Oh shit! You know. Best moments. Funniest moments by far. Uh, question 97. Saddest backstory. Mmm... Who has the saddest backstory? Um, I mean, I feel like um, Sanami's backstory is pretty sad. Uh, Vegeta's backstory is pretty sad. Um. Obviously, obviously, Sasuke's backstory is pretty sad. Itachi's backstory is pretty sad. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say out of all of them... I'd say out of all of them, I'd probably have to give it to Itachi. He has definitely the most tragic backstory, in my opinion. Uh, question 98. Strongest female. So, strongest female character? Um... Vados from Dragon Ball Super. Vados is probably the strongest. Question 99. Which character do you hate the most? Probably Shao Tucker from Full Metal Alchemist. Probably given to Shao Tucker. And then who's got question 100? Last question. Question 100. <clears throat> I want some cake. I don't know why that just randomly popped in my head, but I'm hungry. I want some cake. Although I'm about to make some tacos. That's going to be delicious question 100 who's got question 100 uh i'll answer these last two so best duo best duo is goku and vegeta and then merio leona or tsunade tsunade gotta give it to tsunade and that is all 100 questions thank you so much for everyone that came through uh, special thanks, let me look at it, special thanks to, uh, It's Frozy again for the super chat, big shout out, big ups to them, and thank you to everybody that watched this, thank you to everybody watching the playback, next stream will be on next Tuesday, so what, four days from now, next stream will be on next Tuesday, thank you again so much for everyone coming through, you guys are the greatest anime fans ever, of course. And as always, if you want to extra support the channel, just go binge watch a bunch of my content. 
uh, yeah, obviously, uh, watch time definitely uh, helps out the channel, get more views, of course. Share my content. Just, even if you don't want to watch it, you're just bored, just throw it on in the background, turn it on mute. I don't care. Audience retention and watch time helps out greatly. Helps keep the lights on and whatnot. Helps me pay my bills. <laughs> uh, but uh, again, as always, guys, thank you so much. And I'll catch you all in the next stream. Peace.